So I'm underneath the van, having a look and seeing all the areas that have kind of drawn my attention. I'm obviously limited to what I can do without a ramp, but as you can see, I'm on the ramps and I've got a dolly that's moving me about. So, centrally here, I think I would like to replace that fuel line. So that comes down there. There's no leaks that are evident, but it um, looks a bit rough and it feels slightly hard, so it's not worth risking it with fuel pipe. So that goes. It's hard to do this actually with um, one hand. It goes down here, cross over there, it comes round on here, joins on to this fuel hose in here. Now we can see this one here is rubber, so um, I think I would like to replace it with rubber. So that's the um, first thing that I've noticed. A little leak here on the linkage, possibly a seal, but again, something that I'll need to um, investigate a bit further in time. Nothing more than what I see on normal classic cars, to be honest, but could just be a seal on the sump plug that's needing fixed. Worst areas which I knew about, body-wise, on the, the underside is the rear cross member. So, see it's pretty bad on this end here. And how far back that, or in that goes, I'll need to investigate. And I come along to the other side, see it basically goes from the cross member and goes onto the rear chassis leg as well, so yeah, it's spread in here. And on to the front, with the front up on ramps now. Not as bad as the back. A few bits that need addressed or looked at is obviously the rust starting in here. Up into here. All the way along. So, need to do a bit of further investigation there. You surface rust bubbling in, you catch that before it gets worse. Obviously in here. And to be honest, the rest is coming in quite nice. New calipers obviously on both sides. Shock absorbers are looking a bit worse for wear, so that's something that might need addressed. But, no leaking. And um be honest, there's not an awful lot more that gives great concern under here. Again, I'm limited without a ramp, so I can only go by what I'm having a quick visual inspection with at the moment, but brake pipes, linkage, there's obviously new parts underneath, uh, clutch cable. It's right under the driver, right hand side wheel arch as well, we've got cracks starting to form here, so yeah, it's another thing that I'm going to look at. Crack here as well, only we'll looked at. Clean back to see how far and deep it goes. So, in the whole, not as bad at the front, just a few bits and pieces here and there. That, as we all know from classic cars, could um, lead to more once you start digging, but initially, looking good. So, I've got her in a position where I'm happy driving her. The driver's seat still needs a bit of adjusting, but I can work with that just now. Now, the reason I got her in a condition to drive with is because I'm taking her to somewhere local about 10 minutes away. Um, they're going to get her up on the ramp, they're going to do a few hours just going through the whole um, shell, mechanics, electrics, and then I'll get a list. Um, I've been through it, so it'll be quite interesting to see what else they pick up because there's only so much you can, from my point of view as being a DIYer underneath, looking around to what the experts if you like can. So she's getting taken there this morning, I'll get a list hopefully, I'll get a price for a few bits of welding that I would rather get someone else to do than me, just for access and I am getting too old to lie on my back and weld now. <laughs> so yeah, that's where I'm going just now. The next shot you see will be when I've come back and we'll see if I'm still smiling. I'm expecting quite a decent 
list, but um, it's a list to work with, it's not a list to get a run in. Poppy is back from the garage. She has been up on the ramp, she's had a full once over, three hours worth. Um, I wanted to do that to get peace of mind. I've seen what I've seen, I wanted um, experts if you like to get in, give me a once over for everything so there's nothing hidden. Um, I'm sure once I dig deeper into some of the points raised, then it will go deeper, that's just classic cars in general. But my book has been filled, four pages. <laughs> Four pages worth of safety, MOT, mechanical, so I've split it into, I've got the paperwork there but I've split it into a few areas, the underside, the top and the mechanical. Now it's quite a big list, um, I was given estimated hours work and estimated costs for the garage, um, should I wish to get them to do any of the work, that option's there, it just depends on how quick I want to progress with this with the Scottish weather or how much I want to do myself. The majority I will do myself. Um, and I'm going to prioritise obviously the work. There's too much to do to think I'll get all that done <coughs> in a few weeks or a few months. I bought this for a enjoyment project, a long term thing. So I'm going to prioritise it and it's going to be prioritised into safety, um, watertight, just till I can get it built up to what I see in my head. Now I've been chipping away buying things <coughs> already. I've got the paint picked, I've got the paint there. <laughs> so that when I'm repairing things like the window frames, I'll have the paint to paint, which you know makes it easier when the window frames and seals are getting repaired. So yeah, um, I got exactly what I was looking for. Some of the stuff I didn't know, which is good, and a lot of the stuff I did not, to be fair, so there's not too many surprises. Prices and costs was interesting because how much a garage would charge to do it. Every time I do a job now, I'll know how much I'll have saved by getting the garage to do it. So yeah, that's going to be quite interesting. <coughs> Moving forward, I've done a few bits and pieces um, off camera that you've not seen yet. Um, I will bring that to you. But next, I need to find the leaks and get our water tight. That's my priority because the weather here is not too bad just now. Uh, touch wood. But it's Scotland and it's wet a lot of the time and I need to stop some of the rotten side getting more water into it. So yeah, that is my next videos. We'll be covering the leaks. Well, finding the leaks and basically fixing the leaks. So yeah, that's that's what's coming next. So um, yeah, I'll end this one there. Um, bit of progress and um, I'll say thanks for watching, take care and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers!